Good morning. Wow, I look white as a ghost. Um, we are off for breakfast. It's almost 7am and I have a lot of makeup on today. We are off to um, have breakfast and then we have a driver picking us up to go to Quangxi Waterfall, which is about an hour's drive away. And then from there we have quite a few stops. So I'm going to go and have breakfast and I'll take you with me for the day. I have no idea what to wear. Apparently you don't really trek up the waterfall. There's a shuttle bus that takes you up. So I'm going to risk it with my Burks and not wear trainers. I've got shorts on because I know it's cold in the morning, but it does get warm throughout the day. But I also have this like beach um, dress on over my vest top and shorts just because I don't have anything warm to wear. And I have one jumper that I'm just planning to wear on the flight home, so I don't really want to ruin that. Um, and plus it's in a different suitcase that I haven't even unpacked yet. So, I mean, this is fine. Let me just show you in the mirror. I think I'm giving myself art teacher vibes here. So... <laughs> I mean, I think it looks fine. These are obviously my shorts. I have a vest top on. Sorry for flashing you. But yeah, it's just for a little bit of warmth. But there we go. All right, we're on our journey. We have towels being provided for the waterfall. Are you excited for the waterfall? Yep, right. It's a very plush looking van that we're in, actually. We've just arrived at the waterfalls with like possibly the worst guide ever. <laughs> he does not speak. And when you ask him questions, it's like, yep. No. <laughs> I'm like, are you not telling us anything? anything? You said, is that, <laughs> a, is kind of... you said, is that a temple? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, can we go there? No. I'm like, okay. Sorry, what? Anyway, um, he hasn't told us where to buy tickets from. It says tickets. Oh, here. It's just up this way. I don't think it's actual proper guide. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. This way. Yeah, one thing. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> so now he's told us where to go. <laughs> Do I meet the height requirements? <laughs> This is quite fancy, so you um, scan your ticket. Oh, and the gate's just opened. You scan the QR code and then you get an electric shuttle. This one? Thank you. Okay, do not be fooled. You probably do need to wear trainers here. Oh my god, I'm going to fall. Um, it's quite rocky. It's okay though. It's fine. We'll survive. Oh my god, is this the way to the bears? Oh my god, I've actually never seen a bear in my life. They're so cute. Oh my god, I love them. Oh, look at the bear in the hammock up there. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> Chilling out, isn't he? He's so cute. Bears are so cute. I'm actually obsessed with them. That's one animal I've never seen in my entire life until now. They're so peaceful and they're actually a lot smaller than I thought they would be. <laughs> Fluffier? That's Don't not you really think? fluffy. Yeah, but they're really like small. I thought bears were like gigantic. Did you? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're not so the smaller version. But this is a bear sanctuary. Um, it says Lao has two bear species, oh. moon bears and sun bears. Both are important to healthy forests. Both are endangered. The moon bears at this rescue centre were rescued from the illegal wildlife trade without protected forest for release. They'll require lifelong care for up to 40 years. Whoa. Free the Bears is a non-profit charity. Please buy a t-shirt or make a donation to help us rescue and care for more bears. Oh. Mm. This is the moon bear. This place is really cool. It really is like a bear sanctuary. Look at that bear sticking its head out of that little shed. And they've made like such a nice little play area for the bears with little tires and wood and hammocks. Oh, they're living their best little bear lives. Oh my God, look at this. This is absolutely breathtaking. how breathtaking this actually is. The water is absolutely freezing. Jack is going inside, but apparently it's very rocky too. So I don't want to brave it, but oh my God, it's absolutely stunning. We're only at the first sort of level. I 
can't believe Jas has just been posing in there for everyone. <laughs> Apparently it's very rocky, but it's not that cold. I think other people are going to brave it. It's a bit weird and confusing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the little local hero that like <laughs> braved this, the guy wanted a selfie with you, that's so funny. braving it again. Apparently it's really shallow and it's quite warm. We're at the highest point of the waterfall and you can actually go higher but I've heard and seen that the paths are not stable and the wood is like rotted away so it's not that safe but also the view isn't that great because you're essentially at the top of the waterfall looking down. This is meant to be the best sort of viewpoint like three tiers in. Um, and loads of people in the water. I am kind of regretting not wearing my swimwear, but it's fine because the water's not cold. I just feel like there's a bit of a public display of the people that go into the water. <laughs> there's a lot of like Chinese tourists here. One of them um, asked Jack to pose for a photo with him. Then he asked a lady in her like swimwear and she was like, no, this is really weird. <laughs> and then there was like another lady that he wanted to pose with. It's all a bit weird, right? I do not want to be in anyone's photos in my swimwear. That's no, super weird. I thought they were friendly, they were. They no, I think it was. They just maybe it's weird to them to see like non-Asians, although we are Asians. In I don't know, I don't know. It's just a really weird thing. <laughs> but like there was a couple from like have, Argentina that were like, this is really weird. I was like, I know. Um, I have, yeah, I have yeah. to admit that water in there is really refreshing. I went for a swim in there. It's I'm so an idiot. nice. Yeah. I wore like my bottom half for my swimwear thinking I might dip my feet in but not my top half it's fine it's fine that's Aww. Mim and Mew. 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 Mew are so lovely names, aren't they? Oh, you guys are really cute. These girls stopped us to say hi. Yeah. And they wanted high to five high five us. High five and high five. High five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> high five. <laughs> yeah. Have fun seeing the bears. Yeah. Take care. Have, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. bye. <laughs> oh. oh my god, those two little girls were so adorable. They just stopped us. They were like, hi, where are you from? And they were so chatty. Their English was really good. They were like, how old are you? Like, have you seen the bears? Did you go to the waterfall? Like, where are you from? Where do you live? Then she was like, enchanté. And I said, do you speak French? And it was just like, oh my god. They were like the cutest little girls ever. So we're back down from Quangxi Waterfall and I think the shuttle bus either picks you up from here or here and they sell like food and snacks and things like that but we had breakfast not that long ago. Really a good shout coming first thing in the morning. We got picked up at 8.30 because we heard that it gets busier during the day and it is so much busier now that we're leaving. All the locals come here to picnic because I think it's free for them to get in and especially at a weekend. I don't think it's a weekend today, I think it's a weekday. But as far as I know, most kids in Asia only go to school um, like for half a day because unless they're from a wealthy family, there's just not enough like resources to send kids to school for a whole day. So wealthy families will pay for like private tuition, but most of them either go to school from like 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., um, which is why it's really busy and like full of um, kids too. Oh my God, what's that? Whoa, what are these? Maggots. Maggots. The caterpillar. Hey? Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh my god. Whoa. I can't believe they sell caterpillars here. And little prawns. Mm, the pomelo looks really good, but I just can't. And it's next to like all this stuff. Hello. Thank you. We're back on the shuttle bus, um, being taken up to where the car park is. 
is simultaneously the best and the worst advice I will ever give you when traveling in Asia. Always carry a toilet roll and make sure you severely dehydrate yourself on days out because you do not want to be using public toilets. They're awful. They either have no toilet roll or no hand wash or neither. Which one's our driver? <laughs> Who's our driver? <laughs> We've lost. <laughs> no, that's not the right guy. We're at an elephant sanctuary, but I don't know if this is an ethical one. Oh my God, they do elephant rides, no. Maybe not this one. Oh, was this not the one that was like, should we go and have a look? But I'm not, That's free, I'm not paying know. or like partaking in. Oh, the poor oh, elephants. It's not a sanctuary, is it? No, this is not the one, this is awful. You look like you've been crying, you know? Oh. All right. No. Look at him. Oh, it's so sad. No, that's awful. They're really sad, actually. Unfortunately, shame. They're meant to be playful in the in the mood of night, know. This is not like the one we did in Kenya. This is not a sanctuary. This is God. No. So we asked to um, be taken to an elephant sanctuary and this is very clear that it's not one. This little guy looks like he's been crying, which is so sad. Oh, poor little elephant. Is he going to eat something? Look. They're all chained up and everything. And his tusks have been removed. Yeah. Aren't they meant to be quite pointy? They're meant to be pointy, yeah. No, it's supposed to feel a bit sick actually being here, we can't. Let's leave. Let's leave. It's definitely not a sanctuary. This is called Luang Prabang Elephants Camp and there's a guy walking around with this stick and the elephants are scared of him because it looks like he like hits them. I just can't, it's awful. Okay, we're not staying here. So now we're at Lao Buffalo Dairy Farm. Apparently you need to try the buffalo milk ice cream, Jas. I'm obviously not going to, just the thought of it kind of grosses me out, to be honest, but um, let's see. So we're in the cafe at the Buffalo Dairy Farm. We opted not to do the tour because it just seems a bit long and quite pricey and yeah, so you're not allowed to go and see or touch the buffalo, but you can view it from the cafe here and um, they have a menu, which of course I can't eat from because this is a farm. <laughs> but Jas is trying the buffalo milk ice cream and um, he's got two scoops, thank you. First time I'm trying buffalo milk ice cream. Yeah, that one's caramel. It's like... Okay. Quite nice actually. I mean, is it? I can't tell the difference between. Oh, right. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they just bought it in a supermarket. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know if you meant to or not, but. Oh, right. There's that cat gone. It's more creamy. Here's a goat just randomly walking through the cafe. Apparently, his name's George. Hey, George. Oh, that goat is going to be vicious. Oh, two cats here. Is he the cat? Yeah, look at the little cute one. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> These cats are loving jazz. Oh my god! <laughs> it's actually quite terrifying. <laughs> They're all fighting over the ice cream that you put down. <laughs> well, I can't get too close to the pigs, they really stink. Oh, it's awful. There's a pink one here though, I think. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> so we've just come to a village. We're just walking through. It's been talked into buying a tote bag. Um, it's like there were chickens running past, it's so funny. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. 
Thank you. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, they really dress their kids up here to try and sell you stuff. It's very cute. Oh, she's so okay. cute. How old is she? Uh, oh, she's cute. Nine. Nine? Oh, I both of them, they're twins. Oh. oh! How old is she? Nine. Oh, wow. Very clever. Smart. Wow, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, how much you want so adorable. Part of me thinks it was a bad idea to buy something from the first stall because now they all expect you to buy stuff. But some of these kids are just so, so adorable. adorable. You can't even say no to them. And to be honest, I don't love my bracelet, but it was like 10,000 kit, which is like... It made them happy, something. didn't it? It's fine, it made it? the little twins happy. These little girls are posing already for a photo. It's so adorable. This is a few for one dollar. <laughs> oh, as she did on the left. Oh god, this is turning into a bit of a nightmare. Oh, thank you. Ooh. I don't know if we're heading the right way, but um. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> this is adorable. It's 2 p.m. and we're back in Luang Prabang. We've just asked our driver to drop us off at this place called Indigo Cafe um, instead of the hotel. Um, we figured we should have lunch, although I'm really not hungry. I'm looking at this menu, they've got quite a lot of vegan options, which is great, but um, there's a cat oh. licking itself. But it's quite an extensive menu, they've got like pizza, burgers, Thai food, like English breakfast, American breakfast, sandwiches, open sandwiches, salad. Lao brunch, indigo dishes. I've just realised that you can't see anything that I was talking about, but um, I might have to move Jess because I'm being blinded by the sun here. Um, at some point. I'm just really not hungry. I really don't have an appetite, and this is not like me, even though it's hot. Um, hmm. We moved locations outside, and look at the size of Jess's beer. Um, it's I huge. It's 20 volts. The no, yesterday you got a really big one this size as well. Uh, How much was it? Quid, maybe? This one? How many kip? This one was about 2,000. So apparently Pepsi Black means Diet Pepsi here. I think we have that in Mexico as well, you know. I've never seen Pepsi Black before. Here's my um, spaghetti. I asked for no basil. Um, I think he's given me no mushroom instead. A bit confusing. Okay, so he told me it has got mushrooms in it, and I can see a grand total of one. <laughs> oh, there's one here. I don't know if that's a mushroom. Um, there are those are rice noodles. They're like really fat ones. Oh right, okay. It's a bit sloppy, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's just asleep in the background. We just got back from a nice leisurely lunch. Got changed into our swimwear. We're about to head to the pool, but I can see it's really busy from my balcony window. Um, let me just put something on and I'll be back. That's better, I feel a bit less naked now. So, um, the waterfall, Quang Si, was incredible. It was absolutely stunning, well worth going, and definitely go first thing in the morning as early as you possibly can. It was like under a pound or something to get in, 25,000 kip. And then we went to the Elephant Sanctuary, which of course is not a sanctuary, do not go there. I do not know why they take people there. Loads of people were doing like the elephant rides. It was horrific. It was actually terrible. And then we went, the Bear Sanctuary, oh my God, that was incredible um, at the Quang Si Waterfall. Absolutely love that. Don't think I've ever seen a bear in real life. And that was just, oh, they're so adorable. They're moon bears. They were like one of the tiniest species. We went to a local village called Nong, knock i can't remember the name <coughs> it wasn't quite like a village like i thought it would be it's literally just like two roads that you walk up and back down again and there's just people trying to sell you stuff a lot of child expo exploitation that goes on there and they dress their kids up they're all like super adorable really really cute but you know they're trying to sell you stuff and 
I was just like, can you just take my money because I don't want to buy your stuff. Um, the first stall I went to, I saw a tote bag that looked really nice and I quickly realised that it's far too big and probably not quite pa practical. But then I'd already kind of committed to buying it and it was like a fiver. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll just buy it, whatever. Like no one cares even if I don't use it when I get home. And then of course everyone sees that you buy stuff at the first place. They try and sell you stuff as you keep walking along. Um, and I felt really bad, but they essentially sell the same stuff and it's just not stuff that I want or would ever pay for. Um, there were loads of cute little kids and then I ended up buying this. I tried to just give her a dollar because they take US dollars, but then Jas was like, don't just give them money because they're not begging, they're trying to sell stuff. So I just took the bag that was in her hand, but like, I have no use for this. I don't really particularly like it, but whatever. And then another girl wanted like a 50 cent for a little pouch, which I thought was quite cute. And I thought just, to have the dollar and they all looked really shocked mm. um but i was giving them double what they wanted but i was like it's not like any money to us at all really is it but it's just really sad because there's like hundreds of kids and you can't give hundreds of kids a dollar each um and in any case they don't like us dollars here because unless it's a brand new note because they can't exchange notes that are like ripped or creased in any way so i don't really know it's all a bit confusing um I didn't really like the village thing. It was really, really cute to see all the kids, but I did not like all the child exploitation and the whole experience of it all. And even if like you want to actually buy stuff, you can't because all the stalls are so closely packed and they all essentially sell the same stuff. Some of them have a few odd bits that are different, but like you just can't look because everyone's like, please buy something, please buy something. And the little kids yeah, are like sing-songing away saying just one dollar. And it's like, yeah, but can I just see what is a dollar? Yeah, I find it quite cute. But the thing is that I know it seems like child exportation, what do you call it, yeah? It is. Yeah, but that's but they've got nothing else doing it. So it's either them earning money or... But they're like... literally dressing their kids up because we saw as we walked yeah, past, the kids are like really hot and bothered in their cute little outfits. They're like taking them off because there's like no more tourists behind us. And so it is a bit sad because yeah, like the kids sad. are just being made like to they... stand there in like really uncomfortable. It's like us wearing, not well, me, wearing like Indian clothes in the heat. I mean, I hate wearing Indian clothes in the winter in the UK. Like, never mind yeah, in the heat. It's, it's, it's a lot smaller on their faces when they made a sale, isn't it? <laughs> I yeah. know, but it's just, oh, I just thought it was really sad. Anyway, I've now got some stuff that I don't know what I'm going to do with, but whatever. <laughs> I think I showed you our balcony the other day when we checked in, probably in my last vlog, but... Here's the view, so we can see the pool from here. It's not the cleanest, and also there's a lot of like bugs and mosquitoes and stuff around here, so we haven't actually sat outside, but it's a nice little view. I'm literally just sat here doing some work, and I can see that Jas, who was laying by the pool, has now somehow got a complimentary massage. <laughs> so, so we're now back at the night market looking for some dinner. Um, it's a lot busier than I remember on our first night. We need to somehow cross. So the night market's actually closed today because they've got some sort of event going on. Mm -hmm. oh. But the night market goes on basically all throughout town. So this is where all the food stalls were on the first night that we were here. There's obviously something happening, but here's where all the shops and stuff are. And we actually had lunch there at Indigo Cafe just across the road. I really like some of this artwork actually, it's really cool. She's making these scarves that they sell. 35,000 kip is like, I don't know, under two quid. So we walked all through the night market to the other end of town and we're in a restaurant called Tango, which we were going to a different restaurant but then we walked past this one and the food looked really good and it's so busy in here. It's a bit of a nightmare trying to get a table and then to be served. But I have just ordered a cheese platter for myself because again, I'm still eating quite plain food. I'm not in the mood, like I'm hungry but I'm too scared to eat anything with like flavour. 
I was going to get the hummus, but he kept saying it has ceviche, and I was like, that does not sound veggie. And then he was like, you can have it with cheese, and I was like, hummus with cheese? So I was like, you know what, I'll just get the cheese board, it's fine. Um, what's this restaurant called? Tango. I don't know, it's got quite a nice vibe though. Loads of people just sort of sat outside. And, um, yeah. So we got a side of fries, but I, oh, they're too greasy for me. The problem is, I probably shouldn't be talking about this while I'm about to eat, but the night I got food poisoning, we'd gone to the night market and the only veggie food that was available was like a roti that had like cheese and onion filling inside. And as the guy was making it, I said to Jazz, I don't think I can eat it because he was drowning it in butter and then oil. And I can't, like, I, I can't physically eat stuff that's that greasy because I just don't eat stuff like that at home and I'm convinced that's why I've got food poisoning so now I can't eat anything fried um, a bit queasy wow, what did you get? I went for a medium beef burger oh, okay Angus, no, not Angus, of course oh. Was it Weeping Tiger? It's called Weeping, it's called weeping. weeping Tiger. It's something like that, but it sounded good. <laughs> okay, so here's my cheese plate. I hope it's veggie, um, with a few random carrots and um, a bit of bread. These chips are really not the one. How's your burger? I've not tried it yet, but I think it'd be nice. Okay. <laughs> You were saying to the guy how excellent your food was, and he was looking at my plate like, uh, why is 75% of it still here? No, <laughs> oh, really, generally nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just was like, that was excellent. That was so good. Thank you. That was excellent. <laughs> like clean plates all round, and I was like, I really liked mine. I just couldn't. Like, there's, there's far too much cheese, and chips were awful. But like, the cheese was really good. The cheese was good. It was good. So it's like your blue cheese, right? I hate blue cheese anyway. They didn't specify what cheese you get. But um, I, I'm really full. Yeah, same really here. Full. Like, I'll definitely put a stone on it and just rest on it alone. <laughs> it's a hot morning in Laos today. Um, it's our final full day here. We've just left the hotel to go for a little wander. You basically come out of the hotel, you turn right, and that is just the main road in Luang Prabang. Um, everything happens on this road. There's the morning market off it, there's the night market, there's all the shops, there's all the stalls, there's all the restaurants. It's just on one road. Um, and we're like at the top end of it. We're just gonna do a bit of shopping, I think. Yeah. Just a few little bits i want to see if there's like stuff that they don't sell at the market because that's all sort of the same kind of thing um i want to get a little present for my baby nephew and um that's about it just have a really chilled last day here there's not really anything to do <laughs> now that we've done it all we could have gone to the elephant sanctuary but that's a two hour drive away and we're just not convinced it would be an actual sanctuary um oh let me take a photo this is really interesting so we are 9,114 kilometers away from London. So because Laos not a very touristy place, a lot of buildings will have like a restaurant downstairs and guest rooms upstairs, which is why it took us quite a long time to find a hotel because they're all like hostels, guest rooms, like quite basic places. And then you've got a few five-star hotels which are really expensive, um, surprisingly, or unsurprisingly maybe. And then we f finally found like one four-star hotel, which was quite uh, affordable. But um, yeah, loads of places just basically have bedrooms above a restaurant. I'll get her cookies and cream. And this one, please. But Loving all the quirky sort of tote bags that they have here. A bit small for me though, I want something that fit my laptop. I really don't understand why the streets are so particularly dead today. I mean it is much hotter today than it was. Oh the fruit lady's back! I think she opens up in the afternoons because she was here till quite late in the evening as well. She had purple dragon fruit that I really want to try. There's a market down that road, so you walk down that way. Yeah, she's just setting up actually. Yeah, she is. We find ourselves back in Indigo Cafe where we had lunch yesterday. We're not hungry for lunch, but we're literally just gonna get a cold drink. Just gonna get a beer because it is so hot today and there's literally nothing to do. Like the night market isn't open, the afternoon market isn't open, the morning market we missed, which is fine. Um, and 
and we're not climbing Mount Fusi in this heat because that is ridiculous. Um, we've done everything else that there is to do so we're just gonna get a cold drink sit and people watch but today we're sat indoors because there's a fan um, oh, too, I don't know what's going on today it's really what it's really hot just had a lovely little drink um, and now we're gonna get some fruit for lunch from this lady who I keep seeing every single day and her stall is really busy um, it's a shame they don't have any jackfruit but do you want fruit or do you want a smoothie I just want fruit for me if it was um, what's this? What fruit is this? Sapodilla. Oh, sapodilla. We yes. we had that um, somewhere. One day. I might get this one. Hey, what's it's got um, mango, sapodilla, watermelon, purple dragon fruit, papaya. Kind of good actually. Is that mixed? Yeah. Do you want do you want one more of these? Yeah, I got two then. Do you have um, one more of this, please? Yes. This same mix? Thank you. Sure, no problem. So this is actually, they blend it to me. That's okay. <laughs> they blend it to make a smoothie, which Jas is gonna get. Um, this is the cut fruit. Thank you. Oh, they're gonna put grapes in for me as well just come back to the hotel to have um, lunch by the pool. The lady even gave me two free oranges. She's so nice. I was watching her yesterday when we sat in the cafe as well. And this is actually meant to be a smoothie that they blend, but I don't like smoothies. I really like um, sapodilla though. I have no idea what that actually is, but anyway. I, we had it in Hanoi, I think. And then Jas got the same thing, but blended had like a really nice sort of chilled day like a very typical day I would say in Luang Prabang because everyone just mooches around with their laptops in coffee shops or walks around with a book today was a really hot day actually it was like 27 or 29 degrees um, it was too hot to be walking the streets half the food stalls and shops and restaurants weren't even open because I guess it was quite hot I don't know but now we're heading out for dinner I'm actually quite hungry. Trust me to get my appetite back on the very last night. We're going to a Sri Lankan restaurant, right? Yeah, it's called What That Restaurants. What That Restaurants? Yeah, and it's literally here, like two minutes away. And oh, right, okay. apparently so... we've walked past it before. Oh, right, okay, so that's where we're headed. So we found What That Restaurant, um, but it doesn't seem to be open. <laughs> that's like... Google always lies in Asia, by the way. It says everything's open. No, mate, there might be another entrance. Guys, if I can give you one piece of advice, it's never to trust a man to do any sort of planning <laughs> because normally it's me. This time he found the restaurant and it turns out that was the wrong restaurant in the first place. So we're walking back the one, down this The one we're road. looking for is called Taste of Ceylon. That's what I thought. And I was like, where did what that restaurant come from? I don't know. This is Barbers. We found it. Here we go. Let's see the menu, Jess. I have absolutely no idea what I've just ordered because as I've placed my order, the guy doesn't speak any English and he just said yes to everything and then basically made me change it. So I don't really know what I've got. A bit confusing. That's a big garlic naan, Jess. Um, this is no time. butter on there because we had enough yeah, oil to last us a I'll lifetime. A bit more curry on that. Like... Yeah, mutton curry. <laughs> Okay, so I've got string hoppers, and he said this is a tofu curry, this is something else, this is a dal, this is the pole sambal, which is like a coconut chutney. The noodles, or the hoppers, should I say, that I didn't really want, and a parata, which I did want. Mm, I don't know. Okay, that was good, but I am stuffed. Did you like it? Um, it was good. It was alright. Yeah, it was fine. Mom it was quite was, nice. Mom was mutton lamb curry. And that's gonna make it a little bit spicy. It's really very nice. Well, actually, I wanted to order just the dal and the pole sambal, but I think that might be off. Um, and that was cold. So actually, I really like the tofu curry, and there's another curry which I don't know what that was, but um, yeah, it was good. But I'm so so full. I can't even finish this. A couple of gifts secured. We're back at the okay. night market. Oh, thank okay, you, Club Chai. Okay. Thank you. It's really quiet actually. So I think the market has just started. We're quite early in the day. But we wanted to get all the present buying out of the way. Our last morning here in Luang Prabang. The jewellery shops are the best place to convert currency here because... Um, Kup Chai. 
So you don't, you can't actually get Lao kit um, outside of Lao. You have to bring US dollars with you. But if you pay in US dollars, um, you get massively ripped off with the exchange rate. So um, our hotel said to us the best place for currency exchange is actually inside a jewellery shop. And we've just been doing like 10, 20 dollars at a time because it lasts you for so long here, honestly. Our library. Oh, really? Oh, okay, lovely. Oh, wow. So we're just walking around. We've asked for a tour of this um, hotel called Amantaka. I looked at it when we um, were looking for places to stay, but it's over two and a half grand a night. Is that dollars? Sorry, two thousand dollars. Yes. Dollars, okay. Two thousand four hundred. Oh wow! I have very spacious my space. It's around two two hundred and thirty square meters. Private garden, private. And the additional bit on the living areas. Mm. And how much would a room like this cost? For this one, uh, this is like the second, this will be two thousand and one hundred. Two thousand, okay, two thousand one hundred dollars. This is a private little terrace and this is their private pool. That's amazing. There's quite a few of these hotels, isn't there, around the world? The uh, other one Amand you have do, you have a lot. Okay. Uh, in Southeast Asia, like Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, India. Mm. Okay. We have a lot among around 50 something hotels oh, around 50. the world. Okay. Wow. Okay. And it's on Dominic. So I've just picked myself up a ginger ale and we're going for a massage now. Here we are. I want a foot, legs, shoulder and head massage. What's 90,000 black? Um, about three quid. £3.50. It's an hour long as well. What are you going to get? I don't know. Herbal or aroma oil? What about a lao massage? No one in here, so I can film. We've got a 10 minute wait, but um, this is gonna be good, I reckon. These are um, 80,000 kit per hour to hire. They're so cute. Trouble is, Nish won't let me drive now. She, once she's gone the back of the wheel, the back of the uh, driving seat, she won't let me drive. Yeah, it's quite cool, isn't it? It's a little bit uncomfortable sitting there all day though in this bit, so it should be fine. Now for you isn't, if I'm in the passenger, yeah. It gets a bit crammed if we don't. Let's go, let's go, jump in. So jump in, let's go for a ride. That massage was pretty good actually. It was, um, I love a foot massage and I don't mind a head massage, but I did feel like she was about to break my shoulders, but it was fine. I mean, it was like £3.50 for an hour. It was so cheap. Um, a really nice way to end this trip. It's now 2.30 p.m. We've just come back to the hotel. We're in the midst of like packing up the last few bits and then we are, have a couple of hours actually. Um, we need to leave for the airport at five. So we're gonna go out and get some lunch. A very late lunch because who knows when we'll next eat we're traveling for i want to say like 22 to 23 hours because we fly from here to hanoi then we have a five hour layover and then we have a 1 a.m flight from hanoi to london which is 13 hours and 45 minutes it's just gonna be a very long dull travel day so we're definitely gonna have a meal <laughs> before we leave and um, i'm gonna end this vlog here because I feel like it's very long. This is the end of our three week travels. I really hope you've enjoyed watching all of these videos. I have so much blog content that I've started writing up on my phone, on my laptop, notes that I've made. It's gonna be coming at you. So keep an eye on my blog and I will link some of it down below if it's relevant to Lao. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.